Okay, in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the installation of this EMT and this UF in particular. Now, there's several violations here, but what I want to focus on is where this UF cable comes up out of the ground and then this EMT used as physical protection. But the problem is this EMT does not extend into the ground as required. 300.5D1 requires uh, underground cables or conductors as they emerge from grade have to be protected from physical damage and that can be done with a raceway or an enclosure but the raceway or enclosure is supposed to extend down to the minimum cover requirements in table 300.5 which in this case would need to be 24 inches for this UF cable but as you can see this EMT doesn't extend into the ground at all that leaves this cable exposed to physical damage people can come in this area and step on it and cause further damage to this UF cable this is Russell Blank, NEC consultant for ECNM Magazine.